Welcome to the Sum Assembler Required website. This is an entry page. There are two product lines that are quite different from each other, so they've been separated. This is the three dimensional paper craft, and we'll start here. Now, the way you enter the site is to simply click on one of these pictures. Now we're into the basic level of the slice forms, and there are several different ways you can shop technique, shop by shape, etc. And notice that these menus up above are repeated. So you can, if you prefer shopping by lists, you can also do that. But we like to shop by pictures. So here we're shop by shape and these are all the different shapes that are available. If there's more than one size, I've put them in the pictures side by side so that you can see how they relate to each other. Size is always a difficult thing to convey and numbers don't work very well. So here I have the the tree model in each size in my hand so you can really get a good idea of what it feels like and looks like. We'll click on the large tree. Now we're into the meat of the website. What you see on your computer might be a little different from what you're seeing right here. If you have a lower resolution screen you're not going to see the whole page at one time. You might have something that looks a little bit more like like that. And you might even have to scroll down in order to see this part down here. This is the important part. This is where the products are. Here, a lot of people are wondering, where is the buy button? Well, this is not a product. This is a department. And in this department are several products because you can make the tree in several different ways. So for example, say you want to look at a stencil, you click down here on the products and now you get a buy button and a price and you get a description of the product and if you go to the next department over here you see we have a stamp set for example and it has price buy button and a description notice that there is a red box here and a black box over here and a red box down here these two red boxes are related to each other so if I hit the next button you see it moves on to the next department on this side. I'll hit it again. Next department. Now let's say I click over on this side. Now I've activated this side and I have the red box here and the black box here. So if I hit the next button I just go on to the next idea. And if I keep going I go into the next department and the black box will follow along. For each one of these ideas you'll notice that the text changes so there are explanations of how I actually made the projects which is kind of handy. That's basically how this operates. There's also a tab for the paper news which has a lot of interesting articles. Cool projects, we have lots and lots of those. And there are breadcrumbs for people who like to use that sort of navigation. You can always back up. You can back up all the way out here. Or you can, of course, stop anywhere on this menu. And you'll have all your hearts, and then you can go in, etc. The other part of the site is the Hasty Lace templates. So let's click here and go over to the other side. Notice we can go back to the slice form side at any time. We can also shop by design, shop by theme, so there's several different choices here, again reflected on the top. And let's go to shop by theme. And here we can look at, for example, botanical things. Flowers, leaves, and fruit. Let's pick flowers. And you'll see there are several different templates that have flowers as an element in them. If we shop by design, we can go over here and you'll see we have several different design groups like snowflakes and birds, squares, borders, tiles, monograms, off-grid designs, for example squares. We have different kinds of squares and this is arranged very much like the other side. Again with the red box your departments and the ideas. Most of these will have simply one product, but in some cases there will be more than one product when I've used more than one template to make something. So 
in the case of the hasty lace, we have here monograms, and this is a really good place to use the tab menus. Let's go to, say, the letter R. You'll see there are three templates. One is the minuscules, so those are the lowercase letters that you can use with these initials. Here, on these samples, you'll see there has been something added to the design, as well as here. So there's an explanation that goes with each one. The template that was used to add the designs is right here. Do you see this part here? So if you want to replicate one of these things exactly, you know which templates you'll need to get, and you can easily see the prices and so on. Another thing to mention here, since this is such an unusual format for a website, is that the things you might normally find on a home page are always available right at the top here. So if you need to contact us, upcoming shows, about us, what we do, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, it's right here. Customer service includes things like uh, shipping rates and so on. And if you've created an account for yourself, you can also log in. The advantage of doing that is if you order something, then your addresses will be filled out automatically. It will also give you your order history, which is really nice because sometimes people tend to buy things twice. So thank you for visiting this website with me, and I hope that once you understand the way it works, that you'll find it very straightforward and simple to use.